Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Tales from the Borderlands. So last episode we dealt with Handsome Jack. So now we will probably focus on finding the Vault of the Traveler, right? Let's find out. What is that giant light over here? <coughs> well, Fiona found a nice spot Fiona? to crash land. Fiona, come in, please. Sasha! Sasha, I'm here! Oh, thank God! Listen, Valerie used the beacon to upgrade Gordas and, and summon the vault. Gordas is trying to keep it open, but the monster that came out of it, it it's big. Really? Really big. Okay. The beacon made Gordas bigger too, but she can't handle something like this. Where are you? I I, I don't know exactly. I, I'm still in the caravan, but I'm not sure. Holy shit! Is that the monster? Look, we gotta do something about this thing. The, the monster came with the vault, so maybe if we get rid of the vault, we can. Uh, wait. Ho hold on. There's, there's someone. Sasha. Hey. hey. Sasha. Okay, apparently we got a monster on our hands and now we're falling down the cliff. Great. I want to see that monster. Sasha. Okay, I am in control of uh, Fiona. Now I have hey. to look for Sasha and Gortis. Okay. Uh oh. Well. Oh. Whoa. 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 That was close. Let's just go into the direction of all the people running. Yeah. I can hear the monster. Oh, yes, it's it's huge. It's huge indeed. Oh! Gordis? You are huge too. Very huge. Now just be still, and it'll all be over soon. What's going on here? Take down Valerie, okay. Um, where is she? She's on top of this little hill, right? So let's try to get over there. Oh, I can open the door over here. Let's see. Are you okay? August, are you all right? <laughs> I guess that's a no. Also, Fiona lost her head again. Gordis, you're cutting in and out. Until what? Oh boy, um, this became very dramatic. What is she even trying to do here? Um, well, let's find out. Oh! What do you Let want? Go of me. <laughs> what happened here? Would you like to know? Yes, I would like to know. Him out, let him rot. Uh, I don't know. I should have done this a long time ago. Barney, he's going to die one way or the other. The balls. At least that's how I understand let him rot. That he's just going to die slowly if I pick that option. Come on, damn it. 
Okay, now let's take down Valerie. Ooh, well, um, good attempt. What are you doing? Now's not the time for this. Now is exactly the time for this. I'm protecting Gordas. Summoning the vault brought this monster with it. It's bigger than any I've ever seen. Whatever needs settling between us isn't gonna matter if we're all dead. We have to destroy Gordas. It's what's keeping the vault guardian here. How? It's too powerful to take out any other way. I don't want to. No, you can't do that. It'll kill Gordon. We've got no choice. It's that or we all die. Just stay out of my way. Can't we just turn off the beacon? Why? Ah, uh, this sucks. No. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of her. No! I'm sorry. Oh. But she insisted on firing her bazooka at that. Gordis, tell me how to help. Rocket launcher. Wait, the rocket launcher? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to shoot you! No! No! There has to be another way! This is our only chance! I hate this! I hate this! Uh. And I don't really have a choice here. <laughs> Barney, I can protest, but I can't prevent it from happening. Fire when you have a clear shot. Yeah, I can't. I can't actually not do this, apparently. Um. Well, I'm not really having a clear shot here. I don't even see it. Oh, here we go. Let's try it. Well, that missed. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I will try. I'm so sorry, Gortis. I had no idea this was going to happen. Come on. We've got this. Oh, hi. Where did you just come from? Do it! Okay, um, I need to fire it. The glowing sphere. Do it! Well, I can't really move. Oh, there we go. Well, it worked, I guess. Oh yeah, it totally worked. And just like that, Gordas was gone. Oh, poor Gordas. Valerie was gone. The vault, the monster that protected it. So what kind of monster gone. was this? All we were left with was each other. And the memories of those we lost along the way. All for nothing. That's sad. Ah, this episode is so sad. And that was that. Eventually, we made our way back to Hollow Point. Got August patched up. There isn't much more to it. Life sorta of returned back to normal. Well, our normal. That was it. You destroyed Gordas, then walked away. 
moved on with your life. Well, what else could I have done? I didn't want to shoot her. I wish there was some other way. What about you? After I came to, I grabbed the rights to Atlas on Pandora from Jack's office. Figured I could use it to build something. A fresh start. At that point, it made sense to head back to the Atlas facility we left. Got it going again. Luckily, it was well stocked. Whole lot of fruit. Fixed myself up, worked on some prototypes. Obviously, that was all after she ditched me on Helios. Even if that was what happened, could you blame me? You had Handsome Jack in your head the entire time and... and said nothing. That's true. Well, it seemed like the right thing to do. I don't want you guys freaking out well, on... We had every right to freak out. You and Jack... You and Jack ruined our lives. Are you serious? That is what you're pissed about? It was a little more complicated than that. What isn't complicated is the fact that you were making googly eyes at my sister the <laughs> entire time you were around. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> that he did. Well, <laughs> I came out with a few scars too. Go on, punk. Quit stalling. I mean, he did defeat Handsome Jack in the end, so give him credit for Put that. Put some hustle in it. I, I ain't got all day. Hey, who is that? Yeah. What is this shit? A debt needs to be repaid. What, what does, does that, that mean? To mean? Yes. Oh, it's him. Get down there, fool! Yo, man. You didn't tell me this dude would be holed up in a bandit camp. The whole damn place was coming after me. You seem fine. I mean, I lost them, but I wouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> Just a matter of time before they come through. I'll take my chances. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, look here. We got Fiona and her corporate chump. The name's Reese, thanks. Look at you, all wrapped up like birthday presents. <laughs> hey, Kroger, where's your buddy? Oh, wait, I remember now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remember why you came. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I brought you your bandit box. We gonna make the trade or what? Two for one. Can't beat that. Take them. Oh well. No, they ain't making it out of here. This is person. Uh oh. This is problematic. Hey, no, no, stop! This is the end of the line, girl. You, you can't let him do this. So, if you got some last words, <gasps> just to get them out now, because you know what they say, payback. <laughs> I know you probably think it's your thing, but that mustache, it's awful. I want you to hear that, because I feel like a lot of people in your life are worried to tell you. <laughs> yes. Which is sad. <laughs> Perfect last words. Huh. Shit talking to the end. You know, I can respect that. Okay. This one's for Finch! Oh, well? Who was my savior? Oh, it's uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the mysterious stranger guy. Oh, well. Mysterious stranger guy is very strong. Gross. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's get him off of me. Whoa. Stop saying that. <laughs> Don't even think about running. You're sending some mixed signals here, stranger. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Who is he? This... This is weird. It is. I don't know. Maybe he has a question.
Oh. <laughs> oh, great. A firing squad. <laughs> I just hit murder bingo. <laughs> it just gets worse. Oh, well, um, I can deal with that. I approve of that. Okay, well, um, thank you, mysterious stranger number two. Well, I think he's not going to kill me now that he saved us. What do you want? He's probably just going to cut the... Yeah, I, I thought that he would. That wouldn't make any sense. All right! Laser pointers off! Laser pointers? <laughs> Children of Helios try to avoid guns when it comes to conflict resolution. Vaughn? Vaughn? You look different <laughs> and I haven't seen you in quite some time I you, buddy. <laughs> same here man I can't believe this well um come on bring it in Fiona <laughs> that works too that works too <laughs> what's up glasses face <laughs> not much hat lady we got a lot to catch up on, but it's not entirely safe out here. We'll take you back to the base. Base? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna believe what we've done to the place. You have some stories to tell, Vaughn. Where have you been all this time? Why do you look so different? Honestly, I wouldn't have recognized him. I mean, the whole thing was nuts! After Valerie beat the ever-living shit out of me. Cassius was nice enough to take me back to his lab and fix me up. Okay. The second time that guy saved my ass. I really owe him. The plan was to figure out a way to get you guys from Valerie. Then you left on the rocket and uh, Valerie opened the vault and just all oh, hell broke loose. Uh-huh. I tried to find you guys, but eventually I started suspecting the worst. I didn't want to think that way, but, but, after a while, it's just hard not to lose hope. Mm -hmm. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just happy you're safe. Same here, man. The whole thing was so surreal, you know. I mean, Helios crashing, but by the time the dust settled, everyone was gone, except for the ones that made it to the escape pods. I managed to find a vet. She got out. Thanks to you. Okay, well, She's that's good. Never expect to be leading a bunch of Hyperion refugees. I mean, they were crawling out of those things like newborns. Just bleary-eyed and scared. Then you put your newly acquired Pandoran survival skills to work. You joke, but it definitely helped. <laughs> I mean, look, obviously, I'm no expert, but I was light years ahead of these pencil pushers. I found JR from distribution eating dirt. <laughs> Literally, just sitting there, just shoving dirt into his mouth. Really disturbing. Okay, well. I mean, most of these people, they hadn't spent a waking hour doing anything but just sitting on their ass, getting sweatier and fatter. <sighs> you really Which did some good work here. to make our base out of what was left of Helios. Cool, right? Whoa. Pretty impressive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're 
pretty deferential. Interesting. Which is really odd for a bunch of ex Hyperion. Hello! Wow. They must really revere you. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. They're bowing to you. But me? Th this isn't for you? Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for them. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of you. <laughs> yes, very observant it was at one point, but uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. <laughs> okay, well, um, I suppose that's enough. I tried to alter the face to look like but, you, but... But why um, me? Most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. I am pretty uncomfortable right now. I mean, I kind of destroyed Helios. Us. You don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios <laughs> shed them of their corporate shackles. Okay. I guess we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect this turn of events. I would have expected them to hate Reese. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, about you guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> My forehead isn't really that big. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, it is actually. You're just jealous because they're not drawing pictures of you. You're right, Reese. You got me. I told you, they're sucky. Kill it with Fire! <laughs> hey! Oh, what? <laughs> Did you forget we have a prisoner to interrogate? Yes. No. You're not even a little curious to hear what this guy has to say. I, I mean, want to know yeah, who he is. But there's fruit. I'm talking to him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. Yeah, I really want to know who he is. I've got some work to do. I'm doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. That's maybe for the better. Why? I got a gun. <laughs> okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're backup, and I'll be good cop. Um, sounds like a deal to me. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Okay, hey, let's be bad cop. How about we take off his mask? We got answers and we want some questions. Hey, I'm the bad cop. You're not doing this right. So you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer. All right, spit it out. Who are you? A truth seeker. Uh huh. That doesn't tell me much. Enough of the haiku bullshit. You give us straight answers when we ask you a question. <laughs> You're supposed to be good cop. Yes. This is good cop, sure? bad cop, not bad cop, terrible cop. Or else one of us, just slightly unclear which one. I saw people wearing those suits on the base. That means you were on Helios. Or at least around the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just... no more games. I do know you. Okay. Better now than I ever have. I was there. I was there when Gordas was destroyed. Then why did we have to tell all of this to you? If you were there to begin I with. Saw the betrayal. I saw it, but I could not believe it. Well, if you were there, then maybe you have also seen I that it was necessary. After giving so much, oh, I sacrificed everything. 
Are you Loaderbot? You don't look like Loaderbot. You asked earlier who I am. The answer is simple. I am your friend. Okay. Well, that was a good disguise. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> you and me both. Hey. Gordis... Gordis was my friend, too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to believe that, too. How is this even possible? I mean, how are you even standing here right now? Yes. You have a story to tell, too, I huh? Went back to I needed to survive. Oh, is that Jack's body? To find you. To learn the truth. Loaderbot, yes. You look but completely why different. I mean, why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was. You would lie about what happened. <laughs> it is in your nature to lie. He's got a point there. Right, Hyperion guy, con <laughs> artist. <laughs> right. He checks out. I really am sorry about Gordas. I didn't have a choice. Literally no choice. I know that now. I am sorry for not trusting you. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> yes. That, that is a face, right? Of course, Loaderbot. It is a face now. I am filled with joy. <laughs> okay, so obviously I'm excited to see Loaderbot too, but it doesn't explain why you got us all together. I mean, I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. Okay. I brought you together to help me assemble Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Is that a Whoa. good idea? Yeah. Heavy. Whatever you need. We're in. Okay. So, obviously no one owes you more than I do, but... There's still that giant alien death machine that shows up with the Vault. So maybe he has a plan for this it. This time it will be different. How? We will all be there to fight it with some friends. We were unprepared, weak. That won't be the case this time. Okay. That's not much of a plan. Not that I'm saying no. Why are we still talking about it? I'm in. Let's do it. For Gordis. And as a bonus, the treasure in that <laughs> vault. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. Whatever help the children of Helios can provide is at your service. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Killing the vault monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. So, well, then you, let's do it. me, LB... Bond's on board. Hell yeah, he is. I can get Sasha here. No, oh, uh, so she's, uh... <laughs> How many more we need? Vault Hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. Two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? It's all you. Okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Well, who could we ask? Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that. She achieves clarity through visualization. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, why didn't you just say that? Okay. So, uh, 
Let's see, I have a number of people to pick. Oh, Athena, she's back too. It's been a while since we've seen her too. I was a little bit worried <laughs> that she would be gone for good. So, Springs, um, I think that's Athena's girlfriend, right? Felix, August, Cassius, question mark, question mark, question mark, and Athena. Um, okay, I mean, if I just look at them... Oh, zero. Yeah, I think that's the uh, robot-looking guy from the beginning, right? I mean, if I just look at them, I'm not actually selecting them. So maybe I'm just going to look at them to make my decision. Let's see. Available! You told Springs that Athena loved her. She is grateful that you helped save her relationship. Okay. Athena the Gladiator. A living legend, Athena's experience in, in taking down Vault Guardians would be extremely valuable. Despite the fact that she was last seen being dragged away by two Vault Hunters, it's doubtful that anyone could keep her captive for long. Character stats, warm, nurturing personality, <laughs> minus 73%. Mental baggage, six, of, out of, six out of six suitcases. Um, okay, I'm, I mean, she would be a good option, I'm sure. She's like a professional, right? But let's look at my other options too. Specifically whether they are even available. Okay, he is available too. You identified yourself as a vault hunter to Mordecai. What? Word of this reach zero and he is interested to watch you in action. Okay. Zero the assassin. An infamous assassin shrouded in mystery. We most recently crossed paths with Zero in the death rally where he killed Bossa Nova and the majority of the spectators. There's a good chance that news of a vault might lure him out of hiding. Character stats speech style efficient. Emoticon usage on fleek. <laughs> okay, so they are not actually here at the moment and I can just like try to find them. All right, I understand. Okay, she's available too. You honored Scooter's wish to launch his satellite. She'd be happy to help. Springs the mechanic. The new operator of Scooter's Garage is a master mechanic who recently relocated to Pandora with her girlfriend Athena. After getting Athena captured and then tasking her to build us a rocket, we probably owe her some favors. What's one more? <laughs> Character stats. Luck wrench proficiency black belt. Personality composition 74% sunshine, 76% vengeance. Okay, sounds like... A good choice too. And right, Felix is here as well. Available. You warned Felix about the bomb inside the Hyperion case. He's alive and ready to make amends. Yeah, I guess if I hadn't warned him, he might be dead now. So obviously he wouldn't be available. Felix the inventor, conman tinkerer father figure. Despite orchestrating the vault key deal that got us into this mess, Felix has always been the guy with a plan. We just didn't part on the best of terms. Character stats, taste level refined, combat playlist, symphony fantastique. Barely us. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. And then we got August over here. Available. You consistently showed yourself to be a badass during your quest for the vault. August respects your skill and will help. Okay. Um, I suppose that's nice. there's always August. August the Brawler. Son of Valerie and proprietor of the Purple Skag, August spent the majority of his life stabbing, shooting and punching his way up the ranks of Hollow Point's organized crime scene. He might be a little unstable, but he'd never turn down a good deal. Character stats, punch strengths, knock you on your ass, cocktail strengths, knock you on your ass. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't expect him to be an option. Then we got Cassius over here. You prevented Athena from killing Cassius. He feels he owes you a favor and is willing to help. Okay. Okay, I know this is random, but what about Cassius? 
What? Seriously? Clearly the guy has a couple of screws loose. Yeah, but that might just be what we need for this battle. Yes, I know, but maybe a crazy scientist is just... Yeah, but he also kind of saved my life. That's cool, right? That's a good point, too. Cash is a scientist, last known Atlas employee. Though he, the years he spent in isolation have taken a toll on his sanity, Cash's wealth of Atlas secrets and neck for invention could be highly valuable in any combat scenario. Maybe don't mention his cat. <laughs> Character stats lie to truth ratio plus minus 75%. Cat status alive and or dead? Hmm. It's a Schrodinger's cat. And then we have the mysterious question mark over here. Yeah, I think that's uh, the last option. Unavailable! You didn't save enough money to pay for the Vault Hunter's exorbitant fee. Okay, Avani, there is another one I could hire, but I don't have enough money for it. Maybe I shouldn't have spent so much money on clothing. <laughs> I found someone new. He's experienced, but it looks like he's more than we can afford. Who was it? No point in saying. You'd <laughs> just be disappointed. Okay. Uh. Well, I think it's okay. We have quite a large uh, selection of good choices here, so I think it's fine if I can't afford this guy. Um, well, who do I want to pick? I need three of them, right? I mean, we have four. What do I need four? I may actually need four of them. Because I said we have two teams of four. Um, okay, I think I have some idea who I want to pick. First of all, I think Athena is a good choice. She's capable and she helped us before, so I think... It's going to be my first pick. Okay, so I need just three of them. Uh, works for me. Um, I feel I should pick Felix so that, you know, they can make amends and uh, maybe uh, bring all of this behind them. And, I mean, he seems capable as well. So, yeah, let's uh, pick Felix. And finally... Um, I think I will go for Zero. I mean, we don't really know much about him, but he seems like a pretty cool character and he's a Vault Hunter, he's experienced. So, um, after picking two people that we actually know and that, you know, have been with us during this adventure, I think it's fine if we pick one who we just hire for his expertise. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, let's select him. Um, yeah, I have a full team and we look pretty badass, so let's confirm it. And I guess now we're going into the final battle, which makes me think that maybe uh, this is a good time to make a cut here so we have the final battle in the final episode. At least I'm going to assume it's going to be the final episode. So yeah, I hope I picked a good team here and I hope we will be able to defeat the Vault Monster and uh, save Gortis. And I guess we will find out in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.